Hey gang, what's going on? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate everybody taking a little time out of their day to check the video out. And got a good video for you guys today that I think you're really going to be able to utilize a lot over the next few months coming up. And that is I'm going to go over the three primary styles of spinnerbait trailers. Now, the spinnerbait trailers, I don't use them all year long. I use them primarily in the pre-spawn that we have coming up here. And in my opinion, the pre-spawn period of the year is the number one time of year to fish a spinnerbait. So we're going to give you guys some good juice on that. Um, just real quick, guys, our daily housekeeping tip here. Just want to remind everybody to please visit our View Products shopping tab. When you click on the video at the bottom of the screen, it says View Products. 30 products on there I put every day that you guys might like to check out. And uh, the, that's the best way you can help the channel out is by clicking on those products twice. You got to click on the product and then click again on the site. And if you do that, uh, the channel gets 20 cents every time you click on both those products. So it's a good way to support what's going on if you want to do that. Okay, guys, I love spinnerbait fishing in specifically late February, March, early April. That is the time of year when spinnerbait shine. And that's when you're going to catch your big ones on spinnerbaits. Um, probably 90% of the bass, the big bass I've ever caught on spinnerbaits have come in late February to early April um, with trailers like I'm going to talk to you guys. So I'm going to go over the three primary type of trailers here and sort of give you guys a little bit of a foundational guideline how to pick both of them. So the first one we'll talk about is just the old school standard split tail trailer. Now, this is probably the most common spinnerbait trailer. This has been around a long time. It's sort of everybody's go-to. Um, this particular spinnerbait, how I utilize that, and how I'm gonna talk about a lot of these is based upon the size of the spinnerbait and the sort of the blade configuration. If I'm using the smaller diameter split tail like this, this isn't a really big trailer and it doesn't put out any vibration. It's just sort of a visual attractant. But when I'm using this, it's usually on a, like a quarter to three eighths ounce spinnerbait with maybe something like a number three, number four blades on it, whether they be Colorado or Will Leaf. I don't, I, I'm not looking for something that uh, displaces a lot of water with that smaller spinnerbait. So colors, I usually use a, a white or a pearl or a chartreuse based upon the water clarity. But then again, my main consideration is when I use this is on a little bit smaller profile spinnerbaits. The next one I use is this Zoom ringworm here. Now you can see this is a little bit bigger diameter. It's got its rings on it. <clears throat> it's probably almost not quite twice as big, but it's considerably larger in diameter than the split tail. And then you've got the curly tail here. All of this creates more of a bulk, more of a, pro a larger profile. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, puts out more vibration, displaces more water. The tail creates, you know, vibration they can sense. The ringworms do. It just, it adds a little bit more bulk to the bait. Now, when I'm using this particular ringworm trailer, I'm going up in size and spinner baits. I'm normally using, uh, you know, half ounce is my primary one. If I'm fishing the ringworm, it's usually on a half ounce spinner bait, usually with um, some type of a number four to number six uh, Colorado or Will Leaf. Most of the time, it's a number five Colorado or Willa half ounce spinner bait with the ringworm trailer. It's just a really good combination. And again, uh, the colors, it's usually the chartreuse pepper I like or a white. Now, finally, the last one is a larger swim bait. This is the Zoom Z Swim, three and a half inch swim bait. It's the, it's the big profile, it's a fat body. It's got a lot larger tail on it. You can see, you know, how much more vibration you're gonna get. This tail really puts out a tremendous amount of vibration. And the diameter, you can see how much bigger diameter it is from the split tail. This creates a tremendous amount of bulk and it cre increases the profile of the bait. So when I'm using the uh, big swim bait like this and I put it on full, I don't, I don't cut it down any, I'm using them on a three quarter or one ounce spinner bait with big blades on it, like number, number six to number eight Willow Leafs or Colorado. This is the spinner bait that I fish most of the time in the pre-spawn. It's that big one ounce spinner bait with the big swim bait on there. Sometimes I'll use the Mega Bash Spark Shads. It's a real good one on there. But basically the larger shad, prowl, shad profile. So the main thing guys is let the um, size of your spinner bait, the weight, the profile, and the blades <clears throat> dictate the trailer that you're going to use. There's the three, three primary ones. Again, you got your smaller ones, big ones, mediums, uh, match those to it, and it's really going to add up to a lot more bites for you. But there's just something about during the pre-spawn, 
when that water temperature is between 50 and 60 degrees, that's when I use trailers all the time. Now, like I said, in the post-spawn, fall time of the year, those times of years, I usually go without a trailer. I'll just throw the spinner bait just with the regular skirt on it and get a lot of bites like that. So anyway, guys, give it a try. I think you guys will catch some good fish with that tip and we'll talk later. See ya.